Hey guys, it's Connor and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a back to school makeup look and also giving you like some tips and tricks on how to wear makeup when you're not allowed to wear makeup at school, if that makes sense. Personally, the school that I went to, we weren't allowed to wear makeup, but for someone with me who had really bad acne, and I still have pretty bad acne, that kind of wasn't an option because I just felt too insecure about it. So, so I managed to apply my makeup in a way that was discreet enough so I could cover my acne and feel good about myself going to school. And it made me so much more confident. I recently did a back to school clothing haul or a back to university clothing haul. If you want to see it, it's linked up in the eye. But yeah, I'm going to stop rambling and we're going to get into the video. Okay, now you may be wondering, Connor, what is happening? You look terrible. I know. I love it when people say, oh, it's that time of the month. Like, I've got a huge pimple on my forehead. And I'm like, honey, you don't even know. <laughs> so I'm currently just prepping my skin, doing my like normal routine, moisturizer and all that jazz. If you're lucky enough to go to a school that allows you to wear makeup, then that is awesome. But I know that for many schools in Australia, specifically in the one that I went to, you weren't allowed to wear makeup at all, which kind of bothers me because as someone who had acne during school and I still have acne now, the idea of going to school without being able to cover up my acne horrifies me. I still can't walk out of the house without some sort of concealer or foundation on now. And I'm 19, so there was no way that I would have been able to go to school and not cover it up. To the people who can just rock their acne, like power to you, I wish I could do that, but I just can't, especially when I was in high school. It really bothers me when schools place this rule that you're not allowed to wear makeup. Girls and boys should be allowed to cover up their insecurities because they are so debilitating mentally, especially when you're a teenager, especially. So when I was in school, I did wear makeup. I didn't get in trouble for it because I think I did it in a way that was discreet enough. And I don't think I was offending anyone by covering up my insecurities. I don't know, it just... Eh, it's one of those things. Today I'm going to be doing a very basic makeup look. Obviously you can modify it depending on your level of comfort and what you're allowed. Blah, blah, blah. So when I was in school, I don't think I primed. I love how I don't remember it. It's only been like two years. You should wear sunscreen every single day, but especially at school, especially since most Australian schools are outside. Don't quote me on that. But I'm going to first go in with the NYX Studio what is this called? The Photogenic Primer. Just a little bit, just to help my makeup stick. I would especially use primer during the summertime in Australia. I don't think I need to say why, but... And this one gets nice and tacky. It makes my face look super... Like I've got sunscreen on. <laughs> The end of grade 12, especially for me, so I'm around like 16 or 17, was when I really started getting into makeup. Before then, I didn't really like bother with it. Granted, I didn't have anything on my face to cover up. So I think when my skin started breaking out is when I really started getting into makeup. I would either recommend applying concealer to where you want it, or if you want to do an entire face, which I'm going to do today just because mainly I have a bit of a tan going and my face is white, depending on how I'm feeling, because you know, some... So, one of my favorite foundations that I used during school, and it was like the first foundation that I used in my like first acne video, is the Maybelline Dewy Smooth Foundation. The Fit Me Foundation. I love this stuff. I still use it. Um, and I forget. Oh, it's like nearly gone. Um, this is amazing. It's gonna be way, 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 way too dark for me today. I'm gonna have to lighten it. This is the color 230 Natural Buff. Only thing, of course, that's annoying about it is the fact that it does not have a pump. I also really like the NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat foundation, um, especially during the summertime because yeah. So we got our little concoction in the back of my hair. I'm just gonna first put it on because obviously in the morning you don't have a lot of time. You don't want to be spending like a hundred years putting on your foundation. I had my routine down pat when I was in school. I will go in with a brush purely because it's faster than a beauty blender and I will stipple that on. Just as a little tip, not that this really matters, but the thing that gives it away for me that you're wearing like foundation or makeup is if it's super matte. Now, obviously, if you have super oily skin, you probably can't help that and you have to wear a matte foundation. Like super, super, super matte skin really looks, it gives it away. That's why I like using like a dewy foundation. This is for those of you who are trying to, you know, avoid detection. I look so shiny. Keep in mind that these lights make me look way oily. <laughs> and for me, I would never like try and get 100%, 100% coverage because you're just going to end up looking super, super cakey. And I basically wear the exact same makeup to uni that I did to school. <laughs> wow, I don't think I've ever looked this shiny in a video before. Now you can still see my acne peeking through a little bit, but I'm perfectly comfortable with wearing this like level of coverage. And this is what I would wear on a daily basis 
Anyway, anyway, when it comes to concealer, I would only add a tiny, tiny bit just to add some dimension to my face because naturally when you put foundation on, it removes all the dimension from your face and it looks very obvious. So I would add a tiny bit of concealer, not so you could see it, but so it would, you know, make my face look like it's 3D again. And to do that, I'm gonna use the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. Um, I just got a bunch of ColourPop um, products in the mail that I'm gonna be filming a video on tomorrow, but I'm just gonna use this today. It's really, really, I'm using the color Light 10, which which is gonna be really light, but I'm just gonna add the tiniest bit, tiniest bit. And then I'm just gonna take my finger and blend it out first. It just adds like the, a hint of lightness, which is what your face naturally has anyway. Now, to remove the shine, the powder that I would use religiously during school, and I still adore, I just use a lot of other products, but I am gonna use it today. It's the RC Mayno Color Powder. I know this isn't drugstore, but it's super affordable. I think it's like $10 for this little thing, which is crazy, because it's amazing. It just sets your makeup. It's not gonna add any coverage. It's not gonna do anything. It's just gonna set the makeup, which is what I want. Let me put that on my forehead. And it just removes that shine. Like, bam! And I like to focus on the nose because my nose gets oily throughout the day. And lightly set the under eye because I don't want it to crease because it always creases if I have a whole heck of powder under there. And I know it seems like I'm taking a long time to do this, but that's because I'm talking. If I were to do this when I wasn't filming, I would do this in like 10 minutes. For me, this is like perfect skin. I feel like when you look at me, I don't scream that I'm wearing makeup, which is exactly what I wanted. For my eyebrows, 99% of the time, I would just put in like a brow gel, which is like the easiest thing. Obviously, if you feel like you need to fill in your eyebrows, you can do that. I am gonna fill them in just a tad today. I'm gonna be using the Essence Brow Kit. This stuff is like $3. It's crazy. I recently just tinted my brows, so they're pretty easy to fill in. I'm really gonna only fill in like the sparse areas. I'm gonna use the NYX Tinted Brow Mascara. This stuff is pretty tinted, so it's really, really good on its own. But I am just gonna add it to my brows and brush them up. And yeah, that's basically done with brows. Curling my eyelashes was my absolute favorite thing to do during school though. So if I was feeling a little bit daring sometimes at school, I would put like the tiniest amount of like bronzer in my crease. I'm gonna use the Makeup Revolution Soap X Revolution palette. And I'm gonna take the color Cookie Dough and I'm just gonna chuck this in the crease. And if you are allowed to wear makeup, then obviously this isn't an issue. I'm just gonna lightly dabble that in there. And that's literally it. And then I would add mascara when I went to school. I don't know how people didn't notice this, but I would always just go through and just and then I'm just gonna add a touch of bronzer for those of you who can wear makeup and also and if I was also feeling a bit daring I would add a touch like I would press my brush so lightly on my face for bronzer just so I looked a little bit more dimensional I'm just gonna take the essence shape your face contouring palette and I'm taking the brown shade which is pretty dark so I'm just gonna like take the smallest amount and just not contour, but just bronze a little bit. And then to really settle all the makeup down and just make it look less powdery and all that jazz. And to make it last longer, I always would go in with a setting spray. This makes the biggest difference in the world. I like that dewy effect and it makes everything look more natural. And now it's said and done. When I was in school, highlighter was like just taking off. It was like all the rage and everyone was wearing it. So I was always wearing highlighters at school and the Mary Luminizer was like my go-to and it still is to this day. For this video, I'm gonna use the Sleek uh, Cleopatra's Kiss Highlighting Palette and I'm gonna mix the two powder shades together. This thing is amazing. I'm gonna go very lightly because it's very, very, very intense. Now, just to the tops. I'll say that now and then it'll be like super glam. I'm like in between being like, if you're allowed to wear makeup, and if you can wear makeup. And then for lips, obviously I would just wear nothing or lip balm because I wouldn't wear like a liquid lipstick to school. But I'm gonna use the Maybelline Vivid Matte Liquid in the color Grey Envy. And I feel like this does not dry down. Even though it says matte, it's really bizarre. It just doesn't dry down, I'll show you. Okay, and then to make it look less purple, because I don't really want purple lips, I'm just gonna add the model's own liquid lipstick in Naked. These are like super minty. Okay, and that is the completed look. Minus the lipstick, this is basically what I would wear to school. Pretty much, yeah. 
I hope you guys found this really helpful and please comment down below if you are allowed to wear makeup to school or if you're not allowed to wear makeup to school. If you're allowed to like have your hair out or if you're allowed to wear, um, have piercings or you know all those type of things. I would really love to know. It's very interesting to see like where around the world you're allowed to do different things and whatnot. Personally at my high school we weren't allowed to wear makeup. We had to wear a uniform. We had to have, the girls had to have their hair off their face. You couldn't have it out or anything like that and you were only allowed your lobes pierced with like a simple um, stud. You weren't allowed two piercings or whatever, um, even though a lot of people did. <laughs> Obviously, I would tone this a little bit down if I was wearing it to school. I really like it and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're heading back to school, if you have just gone back to school, please let me know. In Australia, we go back to school in January, so the school year isn't even over yet. I'm currently in my second semester of uni. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you're having a lovely day or night wherever you are in the world. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next video.